Hi, I'm Libby and I had a stroke when I was 23. I had a type of stroke called a hemorrhagic stroke, which is caused by a bleed on the brain. And my symptoms were quite unusual. I was packing to go to university for my second year. And all of a sudden I was overcome with this tingling feeling from head to toe. I was just tingling all over and I felt very dizzy, very sick. And my vision had gone blurry and I had no idea what was happening. So I led on my bed thinking I just stood up too quickly or just, I played it down. And then I thought, no, this is continuing. So I'm gonna have to go and find someone and get some help. However, when I stood up, I realised that I couldn't coordinate my movement and I just fell straight on the floor. I managed to somehow get from upstairs downstairs where my mum found me collapsed in a flower bed. And at this point, when my mum came over to me, I realised that actually I couldn't talk or I couldn't get the words that I wanted to say out. So my mum phoned an ambulance and the paramedics weren't sure what had happened because my symptoms happened on both sides. However, as time went on, by the time I got to A&E, I had numbness and tingling down one side and not the other. However, because of my presentation, the staff at A&E didn't think that I, I had had a stroke. They thought I was too young, I had no risk factors, and the fact that I had symptoms on both sides kind of made them rule a stroke out. So I was put in majors in A&E. And I had a brain MRI just to rule anything out. And as soon as I had this brain MRI, a nurse came out to me and said, we need to take you for CT immediately. So I had this CT scan and this nurse came back out and introduced herself as being the stroke nurse and explained that I'd had a hemorrhagic stroke. And so I was kept in hospital for a week, maybe just for further tests and for monitoring. However, I was really lucky that I had had quite a small brain hemorrhage that didn't require any emergency operation or anything like that. I was just monitored. I regained my sensation and my movement pretty quickly. So I thought I was fine. So I took myself back to university within two weeks. However, I then realised that actually my cognitive function wasn't as sharp as it was. So I wasn't retaining as much information. I was forgetting things. I was getting quite confused at some points. And I was so overwhelmingly tired and I had no idea that strokes could cause such heavy fatigue. No one had kind of warned me about that. So I thought I was just kind of not coping with it very well. So I took some time off from university and it was the best decision I ever made. I think it's so important to just pace yourself when you've had a brain injury like that and just listen to your body because I I admit I took myself back to university way too quickly and it backfired on me. It really set my recovery back. So my biggest advice to someone is to just pace yourself because fatigue is so common after a stroke and just go easy on yourself because for me personally, I lost a lot of confidence in myself and just in my abilities. And it took me a while to get back to where I was before and I became so frustrated with myself that I'd had this small brain hemorrhage and yet I was still being blindsided by the symptoms. And I got increasingly frustrated with myself to the point that my mental health really suffered. So my biggest advice is to take it easy and listen to your body. If your body is telling you to stop, then stop. It's not worth having your mental health sacrificed by trying to force yourself to be back at who you were before the stroke because quite frankly it's going to take a long time for you to find who you are after a stroke and that might not be the same person that you were before the stroke but it doesn't mean that that version of you is any less valid so just hang on in there